Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to declare and use multi-line strings in Robo framework. Uh, here, we have created a simple file which have two example of long strings. Uh, one is created in variables table and another is created in test case table. In both the places, the way you handle long string is a bit different. Okay, so let's see one by one. Uh, First of all, let's execute this program and see what is printed in the log. We will in file explorer. Okay, here we are printing a string from variables table and here we are printing table uh, a string which is created in test case table. Okay, now for formatting purpose, you might want to break the string like this. You want to print the string, uh, you want to write the string on uh, the next line. So that's why you can use this concatenation operator, this three dot operator. And uh, if you run this program, your program should run fine. You can see the string is printed the way uh, it was printed earlier before making this three dot uh, operator change. All right. Now, what if you want to uh, break this statement here? Let's run this program and see what happens. You can see the additional space is added after help, which we don't want, right? Uh, so let me tell you what is happening. By default, an additional parameter is considered over here, uh, whose name, your parameter name is separator. And by the default value to the separator parameter is space. Space is a uh, built-in variable. In Robo framework. Run this program and refresh these logs, the output should be similar. We are doing the same thing. What is, so we are just passing that parameter uh, uh, explicitly. Okay. Uh, now we don't want the space, right? We want uh, empty instead of space, an empty string. This is again a, uh, a built in variable run this program now if we refresh the log the space in help should go away okay uh, the space in uh, helping is gone now but you can see the space uh, uh, which we need after video is also gone so if you want to add a uh, space explicitly you'll have to use a uh, Again, another built-in built variable. Space is a, a variable for uh, printing space in string. Okay. Now run this program and refresh these logs. This looks perfect now. All right. Hope that helps to you. And uh, now let's go to the test case section. Here, uh, instead of set variable, you'll have to use catenate if you want to split the string. And then you can just simply split the string. Okay. Uh, and uh, you can use this separator here as well. Let's run this program. Refresh the logs. Uh, here as well, you'll have to uh, add uh, a space, or you can use uh, you can just remove separator parameter, or you can use space as a separator. This is looking fine uh, and 
uh, friends, uh, I will we'll be uploading this uh, code in the Git repository and the link to the Git repository will be mentioned in the description of this video. Subscribe to this channel if this, if this video is helping you and like this video and put your thoughts in comment section because we really love to read from you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.